On today's episode, Neuralink's second patient plays Counter-Strike with just his mind, the Tesla Semi is blowing up, two Cybertrucks are headed for the end of the road in the Arctic, and Tesla referrals are back. Neuralink has now released an update on their second patient using the Link device. The new patient, known only as Alex, has been improving his capability to play video games and has also begun learning how to use computer-aided design, or CAD, software to design 3D objects. After the first research session concluded, Alex continued testing the capabilities of the Link independently, using it to play the first-person shooter game Counter-Strike. Alex says, I'm already super impressed with how this works. With the assistive quad-stick device, the mouth-operated joystick with sensors, Alex could previously only either aim or move in the game, but never both. Now, Alex is able to use the Link in combination with his quad-stick to move and aim simultaneously, unlocking a more intuitive gaming experience. He went on to say, Just running around is so enjoyable because I can look side to side and not need to move quad-stick left and right. I can think about where to look and it goes where I want it to. It's insane. Promisingly, Neuralink has also observed no thread retraction on its second patient. Demo just announced something really exciting for Tesla owners. In a significant move for the connected mobility space, Tesla has enabled a direct integration with Demo, making them the first automaker to do so. If you are not familiar with Demo, it's a platform that allows drivers to connect their vehicles, take back control of their data, and earn as much as $15 a month in rewards just for being connected. Demo is free to use and also enables you to track the location of all of your cars, including non-Teslas, in one app. Tesla continues to lead the way by officially supporting robust connections with open mobility platforms like Demo. So what does this mean for you as a Tesla driver? Well, Tesla drivers will now be able to seamlessly manage their connection to Demo via their Tesla app or infotainment system and continue earning rewards for simply having their vehicle connected to the network. With over 20,000 Teslas already connected to the Demo network, this partnership marks an exciting step forward in the world of connected vehicles. Demo is always adding more perks for Tesla and EV owners, so hurry up, download the app, and connect before you miss out. Use code G2EVMX to get 50 Demo tokens when you connect your car. This collaboration between Demo and Tesla is an exciting first step in what is hoped to be a long-term partnership to further improve and innovate the driving experience. The National Transportation Safety Board in the United States has launched a new investigation following the first traffic collision involving a Tesla Semi. The crash occurred at 3.15 in the morning along a stretch of the Interstate 80 near Sacramento, California. The good news is that the Semi was not pulling a trailer at the time, it was the only vehicle involved in the incident, and no one was seriously injured. The bad news is that the electric transport cab burst into flames shortly after plowing into a section of forest that was dense with rocks and trees. External damage from the crash must have triggered a catastrophic failure inside the Tesla's battery pack, which then led to a chain reaction called a thermal runaway, where fire spreads uncontrollably from one battery cell to the next, and before long the entire vehicle is engulfed in a towering inferno that can reach over 1000 degrees Fahrenheit. Now luckily, first responder teams are getting better at fighting and containing these types of fires, and even though the Tesla Semi has a significantly larger battery pack than any other EV on the road, the resulting fire was brought under control relatively quickly. Even still, the matter has now been escalated to an investigation by the NTSB, who are not actually a governing body, don't confuse them with the NHTSA, and investigations by the NTSB are not necessarily a bad thing, they can lead to very positive outcomes. A good recent example would be an NTSB investigation in 2021 around EV battery fires that led to recommendations for vehicle manufacturers to write vehicle-specific response guides for fighting battery fires and limiting thermal runaway and reignition. The report also asked firefighter and auto towing associations to inform members about fire risks and how to deal with energy remaining in the battery after a crash and on how to safely store a vehicle with a damaged battery. So that's all pretty reasonable stuff, and as the number of electric heavy trucks on the road increases across the country and around the world, there will definitely need to be some new guidelines around what to do when things go wrong. This is something that Tesla is already preparing for as we speak. The company is in search of a new employee who has a passion for destroying electric vehicles, 
which might sound a little weird, but in the light of recent news, it totally makes sense. Tesla is now hiring for a job called Test Engineer Abuse Engineering Semi. In the job description, they specifically mention pushing battery systems to their limits and beyond, using specialized equipment to apply electrical, mechanical, and thermal stresses. In this position, located in a remote off-grid test site near the Nevada Gigafactory, you would frequently coordinate and execute destructive tests and be responsible for continuously ongoing hazardous lifetime tests. You'll have to be able to build test equipment, such as a car crusher, build replicas with fire extinguishing, battery chargers, and power cyclers, and continuously catch it all on video, among other responsibilities. Just a few of the many steps and preparations that need to be made before the Tesla Semi is ready to roll out across the world. This Friday, two semis were spotted on actual European soil, being transported on the highway towards Hanover. The frequent Giga Berlin watcher Tobias Lint saw the reporting and decided to once again fly his drone around the factory, and jackpot, the two semis arrived and were lifted off the trailers right there. You can see the fences being put around them, and an employee who seems to be wearing a plaid t-shirt taking pictures of the two together. We are expecting to see those pop up somewhere soon. The arrival of the semis mark a milestone, but the timing also makes sense. Dan Priestley, senior manager of Tesla Semi, who we've seen has publicly taken the lead role on the Semi program, will be making two appearances on the IAA transportation event in Hanover, Germany, on September 17th and 18th. One is a keynote speech, and the other is called Scaling Semi-Electrification, a case study with PepsiCo where he will be joined by Dejan Antunovic, the electrification program manager at PepsiCo. This is a key event in showing the possibility of Tesla Semi use cases in European fleets, and Tesla Semi's appearance is definitely creating a lot of buzz for the industry event. If the Tesla Semi can get over the differences in European regulations compared to the US, the market should be ripe for the taking. While it has enough competition already driving their electric trucks like Scania, Daimler, and Volvo, the infrastructure for the electric semis is also currently better on this continent as several hubs are already installing megawatt chargers and scaling up charging site coverage. We also know Tesla is getting serious about launching in Europe as just two weeks ago they started looking for the head of business development of semi truck for the EMEA region with a catchy headline, exciting opportunity, do you want to bring the Tesla Semi to Europe? On semi-related news, we just received word from the largest third-party logistics company in North America, NFI, who have piloted Tesla Semi trucks in daily operations for over 6,000 miles in recent weeks on routes ranging between 250 and 450 miles long. They claim the efficiency has been 1.64 kilowatt hours per mile, with 60% of those miles covered at a speed of 50 miles per hour or greater. This confirms our previous estimates on the efficiency and one of our e-truck comparison charts from when semi-delivery started. Tesla Semi is currently the most efficient electric semi-truck in production in the US and, as far as we know, also in the observable universe. Since Tesla is ramping up the fleet customers for its semi in the US, it also has to worry about the first problem the fleet is exposed to, where to charge. We know Tesla has planned for an over 1 megawatt charging for the Tesla Semi, and it is slowly but surely ramping up the associated infrastructure. In an odd case of disappearing megawatt chargers, a Tesla driver spotted a mobile Tesla Semi truck charging station in Tool, Utah, only to later find it had been moved again. The charger has MCU1 written on it, which I assume would mean megawatt charging unit 1 or something similar. Cybertruck owners and content creators known as Teslatino, Teslatina, Bearded Tesla, and Blue Sky Kites are taking on an Arctic expedition, heading to end of the road in Tuktoyatuk, Canada. It's just about as far north as you can drive before touching the Arctic Ocean. They'll be driving two Cybertrucks with the hardest trek part of the trip being about 740 kilometers or 460 miles on a road with no pavement built on permafrost. They start from Dawson City in Yukon and plan to reach the Arctic hamlet of Inuvik in Northwest Territories, the northern edge of the Boreal Forest, in three days. Then they'll traverse over the permafrost of the Arctic tundra to reach the Arctic Ocean in Tuktoyatuk. It is the only year-round public highway that crosses the Arctic Circle and brings travelers to the end of the continent. If someone tells you the range of EVs is poor, perhaps we should all just point to the full extent of Justin's road trip 
to even get to the start point of the trek as he started from Florida. On Monday, they were just about to have their last supercharging spot of the trip, after which they'll need to rely on whatever else is out there. They'll need to rely on the CCS chargers in the wild and are already reporting these might fail on half of the tries. If you want to support their trek, you can support the team through their social channels or find their Arctic Cybertrek stickers through the Test Bros accessory site. 100% of the funds go towards their trip. The Tesla Space team wish the Cybertrekkers good luck on their electric Arctic expedition. After ending the previous referral program on April 30th, Tesla has now restarted it with new benefits. Currently, it seems the program has only rolled out in the US, but it's likely other region launches are imminent. Let's take a peek inside. If you already own a Tesla, you can refer up to 10 people to buy a Tesla Model S, 3X, or Y and receive $500 for each referral. Now, unfortunately, you can't withdraw it in cash, but you can use it towards purchasing supercharging miles, unlock software upgrades, buy that sweet Tesla Mezcal, which is smoky and floral with a smooth finish. Where was I? Uh, yes, you can use the reward money to buy any merch on the Tesla shop. You can also use the dollars to pay for service visits or even put it towards a new Tesla. $5,000 off a new Tesla isn't too bad, is it? Note that the previous referral program did not allow you to use these rewards towards vehicle purchases. Tesla also says you'll have a chance to win an invitation to an upcoming Tesla event. The referral codes should be a hot commodity now since each code also gets the receiving end, the referee, if you will, a thousand dollars off their Tesla purchase. Tesla has been sweet here and also applies the one thousand dollar discount as a loyalty program if you decide to buy a new Tesla S 3X or Y yourself instead. The referral credits from the previous program that ended with April will still be redeemable until they expire. You can find the new referral program in your Tesla app, update it if it doesn't pop up yet. If you own a Tesla, just this once feel free to drop your referral link under the video below. To anyone planning to buy a Tesla, we'd love it if you used one of the links and support our viewer community. If there's none left, you'll find ours in the video description too.